Diese Konferenz wird nun aufgezeichnet. Hi, Anton speaking. A little video about our mesh generation add-on. Uh, so I'm now using TechPlot 360 EX and I will access the mesh generator within the tools menu. Uh, so the little mesh generator window opens. Uh, this add-on permits to import um, non-uniform rational piece plane files or uh, to also save and open projects. And you can also write mesh files either in uh, TechPlot data format or in Plot3D format. Uh, so we'll start here by defining uh, boundaries and then we'll create a 2D mesh within those boundaries. Uh, to do so, we'll just go to the boundary menu and create a circular arc and we'll choose starting, ending points and radius. So we'll start at 0, 0 and uh, end at wet when and uh, the radius will be chosen to be 1. So for the node distribution, we'll take 30 nodes that are evenly spaced with a cubic interpolation in between. We'll call it wall 1. And by clicking on create, TechPlot will automatically create uh, the plot. So if you want to feed the view, you can just press Control F and here I'll just display the mesh so we can see the actual uh, spline or arc. Now I will create a polyline and to create a polyline, you can, for example, select that point here and click it to be selected endpoint. So here the coordinates are automatically updated and I'll just insert that point. I'll go further to the right up to x equals 5 or let's say, well, yeah, 5 is good. And I'll click on insert after. So I have my two points and I click on the node distribution. Once again, I'll take 30 points, evenly spaced, cubic interpolation. And this is going to be my wall two. Clicking on create and the line has been created here. Once again, pressing control F fits the view. And I'll create another polyline. This time it's, we, it's going to be uh, the pressure outlet here. So I'll just select that point, click on select endpoints and the coordinates are automatically updated. Click on insert before and then put an offset on Y uh, to basically go upwards. Insert after, node distribution, once again, 30 points. Evenly spaced. And this will be my outlet. Clicking on create and the line's been created. And here I will create a symmetry plane. So I'll choose my first point, which is zero, zero in coordinates. Select endpoint, insert before, and then I'll go from minus five there. All right, 30 points once again, evenly spaced. This is my symmetry. Clicking on create and the line is automatically created. Uh, so now we'll need the velocity inlet here and uh, we'll create it as a circular arc once again, starting point, ending point, radius. So my starting point will be here. My ending point will be there. And I'll take a radius of 10. Node distribution, so this time I'll need to match the number of nodes that are basically here on my wall. And this is two times 30, but there is one point that is overlapping on both zones. So I put 59 to take into account that overlapping point. Clicking OK. Line label, it's my inlet. Clicking on create and there it is. All right, uh, so I'll turn off scatter so we can just focus on uh, the actual geometry here. And we'll just go in and create a mesh. We'll create first an algebraic structure mesh. And here we need to select which um, boundary zones we want to use. So I'll use this one. If you want to know the number of the zone, you can just select it or right click it and you get here that number. Uh, so here is my number four and so on. So here for I'm in, I'll choose my number four, my symmetry, and I link it here to the outlet, which is my number three. And for the J min, J max, so we'll take zone one and two. And J max will be zone five, which is here the inlet. Algebraic arc length, and this is my structured 
algebraic mesh. Clicking on create, here it is. So we have the mesh that has been automatically created. Um, I'll hide it for the moment. And you have numerous uh, mesh definition options. So once again, if I take um, the same things, but this time I will create an elliptic Laplace mesh. So one, two, J max is five. Let's say I want a couple of iterations here. So we'll see the mesh actually being refined over time. And this is my structured elliptic mesh. So clicking on create here, we see the mesh is getting refined as a um, tech plot is iterating, basically. Here is the progress bar. I click on close and there it is. So we can compare those two meshes. And these are written as zones. In my zone style dialog, I can just define how I want to visualize those zones, for example. All right. Uh, if you want to save those, you can just write it as a image file, for example, in a plot3D format. And uh, you have a couple of options here. Besides, you can also create hyperbolic structured mesh and also unstructured meshes. Thank you very much for watching the video. And for any question, please feel free to contact me. Have a good day. Bye. -bye.